welcome back again. Uh, so what we're going to talk about this time is some more stuff with core data. Uh, we're going to make relationships between the entities and core data. When we did movie quotes, it was really just a single entity uh, and there were no relationships in it. Uh, this time we're going to do a task list. So we're going to make list first. So we're going to have list objects. And then we're going to have tasks, which are inside each list. To be honest, it's a pretty simple relationship. Um, and it's really easy to explain just with an example, right? Uh, so here is our uh, example make. So we're going to make an app called Rose Task. If you open it up, it's going to have various lists. Uh, so these are names of to-do lists. So I might add another one that just says, you know, at home. So I've got my tasks that I need to work on at home. Inside at home, I currently have no task. Um, inside iOS, I have at least four tasks. So I can go inside of here and see what the tasks are. Um, I've got task in this for watch videos, answer questions, uh, things like that. If I click on one of these, um, what I can do is I can uh, delete it uh, if I want to delete it. There's a little thing there with hide keyboard, I'll, I'll explain that later. Um, or I can modify it, so I could say, you know, at answer questions uh, and hide keyboard uh, and save. All right, the keyboard thing came up twice, so I'll go ahead and talk about it. Uh, right now I've got my hardware keyboard uh, turned off. Or sorry, I've got my hardware keyboard turned off so you don't see these things, but usually if you're typing, uh, you want some way to hide the keyboard. There's a lot of ways to do it. I decided just to add a button uh, for a hide keyboard so it just goes up and down uh, with that button and show you how to do that. So if I wanted to delete this, I could delete it. We're also going to be showing you things like uh, modal pop-ups, as you just saw that popped up there, uh, and custom view controllers. So here if I uh, put a star on this, uh, it'll change whether it's starred or not. It'll also change the order, so if I check uh, work on the lab, it'll actually leapfrog, uh, and now it's more important uh, than the other one. Um, and then you can also um, edit the names of the list themselves, so there's a show rename button. Uh, so if I wanted to change this to just be at home, uh, I could do that, and it would just change the name of the list. Uh, you can also delete list uh, and things like that, right? So it's kind of some of the basic crud that we've been doing uh, all along. So we have to be able to create, read, update, and delete the list. And then we also have to be able to create, read, update, and delete the tasks themselves. Um, in order to get some practice with this, we're going to be doing it all on Objective-C. And we're going to be doing a follow along, uh, which is shown here. And you can see the features that are there. Uh, and then we're also going to be doing a lab. I'll go ahead and fire up the lab here. Uh, so here's the lab. The outside looks very similar. So I could just say iOS. I'm just going to turn back on my hardware keyboard. iOS dev, if I made that the name, I could go in here and I could add um, a task here. And you can see that in the lab, you're just going to be adding more features. So we could say watch the videos. Uh, and then we could add to that special notes. Um, and then we could also add things like when it's due. So it's due by a certain date. Uh, presumably at noon, right? It's funny, it's really, it's a lot easier on a device. And if I wanted to uh, to star that, I could uh, and save that off. Also in the lab, you're going to be doing things like uh, checking it to make sure it's done. Uh, people like to actually see things get checked um, instead of just deleting them because they get that bit, that sense of accomplishment uh, whenever they can say that it's it's now done. You can also mark it as not very important or important, depending on whether you want to star it. Uh, so those are some of the features that we're going to be implementing in the lab. All right, so let's go ahead in this video uh, and just get started with the, with the bare basics. Uh, and the bare basics that we want to do is we want to open up a new project. So go ahead and fire up Xcode, however you would like. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make um, a master detail application. So we're going to start with that template, and we're going to strip almost all of it out, to be perfectly honest. Uh, for the name, I'm just going to call it Rose Task, um, and I'm going to make you know my organization identifier the reverse DNS of Rose Holman. Uh, the language we're going to be using purely Objective C this time. Um, again, just to reiterate why um, Swift is great; it's new, uh, everybody loves it. It's better in every way, um, except for the fact that 90% plus of the objective of the uh, iOS app world is all in Objective C. So if you go work somewhere. They've probably got a lot of Objective-C code sitting around. And a lot of companies aren't switching, right? So they're just staying with Objective-C. It works fine. That's what all their code's in. They're just staying put. So we, I think it's important to show you Objective-C. As far as the devices go, I'm going to choose to do this one just on the iPhone. I really like universal apps. I like making them. 
uh, but to focus on like one smaller piece, I'm just gonna do iPhone. And then this checkbox for core data, you know, that one's definitely important. Uh, you can save the project wherever you like. Uh, and then once you get it up, just uh, go ahead and run it. Um, for you, it should run fine. For me, I had to uh, reset the simulator because I'd run it with uh, different data store models. Um, but the default, uh, what it does is it gives you a list view um, and it shows you how you can delete things. Um, and then also it drills down and shows a detailed view as well. So just go ahead and run it and make sure it works. Uh, and then we're gonna go delete a bunch of stuff, right? So I like this template. Uh, because it does some of the core data stuff for me. It also does some of the NS fetch results controller stuff for me. But to be honest, most of it I am going to just delete, right? Um, so as far as some things that I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete the, the detail view controllers. Uh, just going to blow them away. Uh, the master view controller, I'm actually going to rename it. Uh, so instead of master view controller, I'm going to right click on it and say refactor rename. This is a good trick. Um, and what I'm going to do is instead of master view controller, I'm going to call it list view controller. That's a plural on the list. Um, and then you can do a preview. And you'll notice it'll actually update the storyboard too, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I don't need snapshots, so disable that. Uh, so that renamed that in a bunch of places. Uh, other things I need to do is I got rid of my detail view controller. So I need to delete its import uh, from the list view controller.m. I think there's also an import into the app delegate. Uh, this one is funny because it's not necessary or used at all unless it's iPad, which I said iPhone only. Um, so really that shouldn't have ever been imported, uh, but it was an easy fix to do. Uh, other things we need to go fix, I'll just go look at the slides. Uh, looks like we need to detail the detail view controller from the storyboard. Um, and then there's a bunch of other things to, uh, to delete as well. So let's go ahead and do the storyboard one. Uh, so I'm in here on the storyboard one. Uh, note that this one is now a, a list view controller, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then this guy, I'm just going to delete for now because I'll make it back later, but it's just easier to blow away for now. Other things we want to uh, delete is there's a bunch of functions in here. Uh, so awake from nib, no thank you. View did load, no thank you. Did receive memory warning, I always delete that one. Um, insert new object. We'll, we'll make a function like that, uh, but we'll just make it again from scratch. Uh, prepare for segue. Um, I'm just going to blow away the insides of this one because I'll eventually use the function. Um, actually, what did I say to do in the notes? All right, it said to comment out the insides, so I'll, I'll leave it there and I'll comment out the insides. Um, and then it also wanted me to comment out the insides of fetched results controller. So there's the bottom, there's the top. Uh, comment it all out. It should run, but before you run it, you are going to have to reset the simulator because it had a bunch of, um, you know, it had a bunch of timestamp stuff in here, right? Another thing you can do is you don't have to reset the simulator. You can actually hit the home button, which was command shift H, um, and you can just delete the app this way. Um, to be honest, though, I forget where that button, I don't know, I don't know why, I forget where that button's at, and I usually just click on the menu. You can't see it on my screen here, but there's a reset content and settings. That's what I use more often, even though I probably shouldn't. I should probably just delete the app. Uh, but if you run it now, um, it should hopefully be syntax error free and it should compile and launch the app. Oops, just kidding. Uh, it looks like I needed to delete all of the fetch results controller, including the, uh, the method signature itself. So the whole, the whole thing, not just the insides. I'll have to go fix that in the notes. Now it should hopefully run uh, syntax error free. It doesn't do anything, right? So I mean, there's there's nothing really going on in here, uh, but it should be syntax error free. I guess one more thing I should do is I should go ahead and delete uh, the model object that they made. So they made an event object. Uh, you can see here in the graphical display. I just want to delete that. By the way, deleting that will cause you <laughs> to uh, need to reset the app again. Um, if you if you ever launch it and you get messages like this, uh, just know that it's because your data store model uh, changed. Uh, so the, lots of quick ways to, uh, to fix that. So I'm going to stop it running, long press on the app, delete it from there. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and run it again. Great. So it runs. Um, it's got a bunch of the code stripped out that we don't, that we don't want. Um, but you can see that there's a lot of things in here that we, we did choose to leave. 
If you go through and look at them in detail, they're mainly the connection between the table view and the fetch results controller. All right, I think that's it for, uh, for this time. Uh, next time we'll come back and we'll do some more stuff with the data store model. See you then.